Welcome to economics class. Today we are going to discuss central problems of an economy. What is central problems? Central problems means a common problem to all societies. The society may be rich or poor. Every economy will face this central problems of an economy. The problem of choice itself we call it as economic problem. The problem of choice arises due to satisfying unlimited wants with the limited resources which have alternative uses. So, scarcity of resources give rise to the problem of choice. The central problems of an economy can be divided into three divisions. First one is what to produce and in what quantities. Second one, how are these goods produced? The third one is for whom are these goods produced? That means what to produce, how to produce and for whom to produce. The first basic problem of an economy is what to produce and in what quantities. It has two dimensions. Economy has to decide which goods are to be produced and in which quantities. The economy has to decide whether to produce a basic necessaries like food, clothing, housing or to produce luxurious goods. Economy has to decide whether to produce agricultural goods or industrial goods, whether to produce a consumer goods or producer goods. The basic guiding principle of every economy is allocation of resources in such a way that it has to give a maximum satisfaction to the economy. After deciding what to produce, economy has to decide in what quantities. If economy has to make a choice between consumer goods and producer goods, they have to decide what quantity of consumer goods and what quantity of producer goods. That means how much of consumer goods and how much of producer goods. It is more complicated problem because both consumer goods and producer goods are more significant. Consumer goods promotes a quality of life of a present generation. Producer goods promotes production capacity for the future generation. So economy has to achieve equilibrium while they are deciding in what quantities consumer goods and producer goods need to be produced. It should not reduce the quality life of present generation nor it should reduce the production capacity for the future generation. The second basic problem of an economy is how are these goods are produced that is how to produce. It is related to the problem of making a choice in relation to technique of production. Which technique of production should be used? When you have only one type of technology in the production of goods and services, there won't be any problem. When you have more than one method of production, then you have to make a choice. In the technique of production, we have two types. One is labor intensive technique, another one is capital intensive technique. Labor intensive technique means use of more labor than capital in the production. Capital intensive technique means use of more capital than labor in the production. The good example for labor intensive is hand looms and good example for capital intensive is power looms. When you use labor intensive technique, it increases inefficiency in the production and the cost of production increases, but it is able to generate more employment opportunities and we can eradicate problem of poverty. If we use a capital intensive technique, the efficiency in the production is going to increase and the cost of production decreases and the growth rate of economy will be fast compared to labor intensive technique. The third basic problem of an economy is for whom are these goods produced? That is for whom to produce. Economy must decide who should get how much of total output of goods and services. See society is divided into two categories, rich and poor. 
the producer has to decide for whom he is producing if he is producing for poor section of the society they will produce inferior goods or low quality goods as low quality goods will be available at a cheaper rate if they produce for rich people they will produce a luxurious or high quality goods as rich people are able to buy those goods and services if producer produce for richer class of the people the profit of producer is going to increase and savings will be more but we cannot ensure social justice if producer focus on production of goods and services for a poor section of the society we can ensure social justice but the savings of the economy and profit to producer may decrease so they have to decide how much should be produced for richer class of the society and how much of goods should be produced for poor section of the society it is all about distribution of national income among different section of the society thank you one and all in the next slide dear students i made a notes on central problems of an economy you can use this notes for your exam preparation and you can get a good marks all the best thank you